contributor, Dr. Kavita Patel. Dr. Patel, thanks so much for joining us. We know it's not a good idea to inject yourself or to drink disinfectants, but earlier this week, the CDC reported that calls to U.S. poison centers are actually up, up by 20%. Much of this related to people misusing bleach and other cleaning products. I think it's important we talk about how to use those products safely, but could you also touch on how to use them effectively, the best way against coronavirus? Yeah, absolutely. So first and foremost, let me just tell you, you should not ingest these products, adult, child, infant, no matter what the situation. The safest way to use these products are to use them on surfaces or for the example of hand sanitizers to use them only on your hands for about 30 seconds. And any of these other bleach containing products, I would also strongly encourage you to use some household gloves when handling these products, because just touching the products to your skin can actually cause a bit of a reaction or get absorbed into the system and cause a localized kind of inflammatory response. So bottom line, leave those bleaches, disinfectants for surfaces only. And do not ever think about inhaling, ingesting, or broadly applying to parts of your body. Important to point that out. Uh, we should talk about some treatments as well. The president has repeatedly touted, uh, we'll say, unproven treatments for COVID-19. We're talking about hydro, uh, hydrochloroquine or uh, hydroxychloroquine, rather, and chloroquine. The FDA, though, cautioning doctors against prescribing them. They're worried about possible heart rhythm problems. Trials of these drugs, are those still ongoing? And have they sparked any hope that it could actually be a solution? There are trials that are ongoing and that the FDA was clear that outside of a trial or a hospital setting, we should not be using these drugs. But we do have studies of results today, in fact, from a randomized trial in Brazil of chloroquine, kind of related to hydroxychloroquine, that shows that it can actually be lethal. So the studies are ongoing, but even the data we have to date shows us that there are a lot of risks for it. Here's some good news. There are dozens of other treatments that are under investigation with very, very early but promising signs. So I do feel like in several months we will have more information for promising treatments. Each month, each week, each day we get closer to figuring out some sort of a solution. Dr. Patel, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Always great to get your expertise and analysis here.